We're always told we should be practicing more on our saxophones, but how much is the right amount? And do we actually do what we're supposed to do? Well, today I've got a great story for you. It's about one of our sax school students called John, and he's taken a challenge that we've got inside sax school called the 30 day challenge, and he's gone a little bit further with it. And I think it's just amazing to hear how it improved his playing and also give you a bit of an idea of what's possible. Go check out John's story and I'll catch you at the end. So John, I've got to hear about your 30 day challenge, which didn't end up just being a 30 day challenge. How many days did you end up doing in total consecutively? I ended up doing it consecutively 60 days in a row. 60 days, that's fantastic. And have you ever done a challenge like that before? Have you ever like set yourself a goal of playing every single day over a long period like that? No. (laughs) <laughs> no, your course was the inspiration for doing that. Well, that's that's good to know. And did you find that after playing for 60 days, did you find that it had an impact on your playing? Maybe you could tell us a little bit about how you noticed in the way you played or maybe in the way you embouchure or your tone. How did it affect you? It absolutely had a profound effect. It really did because the embouchure did get stronger, the breathing the low tones, the high tones, everything that your course has offered me to this point, using it has helped. And doing it for 60 days over and over and over, I have improved immensely with the saxophone. It makes playing a lot more fun. Oh, that's really good to hear. It's brilliant. I mean, you know, who's who, who would have thought that if you do actually practice every day, you get better? It's amazing, isn't it? But hardly any of us do it, right? We're all guilty of it. We're all guilty of, uh, well, apart from you, you're like the shining beacon here. Um, So did you have a clear idea of the structure that you were using for each day when you were practicing? Yeah, I did. And your course, the way it's structured, it makes learning easier. Now, I will tell you, when I first started playing saxophone, I was going to Richmond every Sunday and I was meeting with a lesson instructor up there. It was only 30 minutes and it was a couple of dollars for every 30 minutes. However, 30 minutes went by like gone. And it was like, what am I really learning here? By the time you take your instrument out, you start talking, then you start playing. He gives you a couple of exercises to do. Then it's well, okay, see you next Sunday. And for that went on for like from March until July of last year. And I thought, it's got to be a better way than this. And then, again, I took your course. And then from there, by looking at the way you have it structured, and you have so much information there, tell, there's no way you'll get through this course in a year, two years. It's just you can't. But playing through the techniques that you employ and how you, you present a song, then you play the song, then you help us to learn the song, and then the challenge is play the song. It has really helped. It really has. Oh, really great to hear that. Uh, yes. So uh, I'd love to know now that you've got off to this flying start, because actually it's really interesting too to hear your experience with with a teacher, and that that's a really common thing. And uh, you know, often too, you've got the travel time to go and see the teacher, right? So you've got that travel exactly. time, travel time home, then the actual lesson, and and also once the lesson's gone and done. Sometimes, you you know, you can't remember all the things that you did in that lesson anyway. So it's helpful to be able to revisit those recordings in Inside Sax School. But it's brilliant to hear that you got all that momentum going from doing that 60 days. And uh, I understand you you were then sort of off on holidays and doing various things after that. But has it has it helped you to get sort of an ongoing good routine with your practice? Yes, it has. Rather than practice later in the evenings, I'm trying to build some time in during the day. When your mind is fresh, you're more alert. And I think you learn better that way. Rather than to wait till the last time at night, you've done everything during the day. Now you're kind of winding down and your mind is not as sharp as it normally would be during the day. So yes, I, I just love playing it. I love getting up every day trying to figure, okay, how am I gonna play the saxophone today? And how am I going to fit this into my schedule? Because for me, the more I have learned, it's like the more I want to learn. Improvising and things like that, it's like, 
And I just went to a jazz concert this weekend and I saw Michael Linton. Oh, wow. Yes, I saw him, Paul Taylor. And I just sit there in amazement, like, how do they do this? But I know it comes with years of practice. And I watched you play, and it's like, how do they do this? I know, but it, I know it, it comes really, from a lot of practice. It, it comes from practice. It does come with practice. Michael's yes. been doing it a really long time, you know, and, and he is a really good performer as well. And there's a fantastic yeah. masterclass with Michael, actually, inside Sax School. I don't know if you've, you've seen that. Uh, but he's uh, he's an interesting character. You should definitely go check out that masterclass with Michael Lincoln. Okay. Brilliant. So is that the style of music that you're most interested in, then, in John, like uh, commercial, smooth jazz, that kind of thing? Yeah, I, I really like the jazz type music with it and the smooth jazz and just, I mean, I, I listen to all different types of genres of music and I'm a jazz lover. I love jazz music. And even some of your songs that I've learned, I've tried to make them a little jazzy, like just to kind of switch them up a little bit. But yeah, I really love jazz. Um, that That's kind of like what I want to kind of play, like a smooth jazz type thing. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, it sounds to me like you're well and truly on your way. And with the uh, practice habits that you've created there, John, I'm, I'm sure that you'll be playing exactly the way you want to in absolutely no time at all. So I'm really excited to hear about your progress. Thanks so much, John. I really appreciate you sharing your story. Thank you so much. And it is just an honor and a pleasure to know that an instructor of yourself, your caliber, would actually meet with your students across the world just to have a brief chat. That means a whole lot. Wow, what a legend. John is such a cool guy. And, you know, it's just brilliant to see somebody like John who is so excited about learning and putting in those hours working on his skills. I'm sure he's going to be achieving amazing things in his playing. If John's story has really got you thinking about how you could improve on saxophone too, then come check out what we're doing over at Sax School because there are seriously thousands of other students like John who are using Sax School every single day. And as a member, you'll have an opportunity to take part in the challenges like John has done with the 30-day challenge, plus all the live monthly classes we've got going on, access our huge library of lessons, but most importantly, you can get direct feedback and support from a teacher, and you can connect with our huge community of other learners inside SAS School. It's really a wonderful place to be, and we'd love to see you in there and, and uh, help you and hear about your progress on saxophone too. So whatever you're doing, keep practicing hard, and I'll catch you next time.